Next is resolve freight management. Resolve freight management allows us to be able to handle outbound logistics so that we can do packing operations as well as carrier integrations with small parcel carriers like UPS, FedEx, and the US Postal Service, as well as FTL and LTL carriers. Uh, giving us the ability to do rate shopping and uh, address verification as well as label generation directly from SAP Business One. Within uh, freight management, you'll be able to directly configure your carriers. And when you're using the different carriers, you'll be able to specify things like account numbers and you have the ability to have account numbers per warehouse, account numbers per warehouse code if you need as well as being able to choose all of the different service levels that you want to enable inside of your SAP Business One system. One of the things that um, is really good about the uh, setup options is, is that with rates, we can use your own negotiated rates or you can use the published rates, which can be really helpful for rate shopping in terms of what we want to give to the customer. Beyond configuring the carriers, we also have the ability to create additional charges and additional charges are essentially freight markup rules. And so you have the ability to create an unlimited number of freight markup rules. That give us the ability to do things um, where the shipping costs or other kinds of things can be increased. So here, for example, we're taking the shipment cost and we're adding a fixed amount of just $10. So in this case, the basis option was the shipping cost and we're just adding the amount of $10. However, as you can see, we have the ability to work with multiple different bases. It could be the order value or the shipment value in case of a back order, the number of packages if you want to do a handling charge, um, even fixed fees based on item group. And then you have the ability to do multiple different calculations. So we can mark it up by a percentage, we can add an amount, we can do combinations. We could also just charge, as we mentioned, the stated amount. And then free freight and other kinds of criteria can be manipulated by having a minimum document amount. So for instance, if we wanted to say that the uh, maximum dollar amount was $500 and anything below $500 was free freight, you could do that. You also can manipulate the actual freight calculation to come up with a minimum or maximum value for your freight charge. This gets put together onto a shipping profile. And shipping profiles allow us to be able to stack together the additional charges. So in this particular case, as you can see, I'm actually passing through both the shipment cost and the insurance charge to the customer, but we're actually going to go ahead and build the receiver. So this is another area where freight management gives flexibility. When we're looking at who's going to pay, we can pay as the shipper, commonly referred to as like prepay and add, or we can build a receiver or a third party, or we can even have consignee built. Now, when you're billing the receiver, that means that the uh, UPS or FedEx account number, for example, of the person you're shipping to will be used, whereas a third party could be a manufacturer or any other third party that's going to be used. Again, you'll be able to have a third party address book so you can store the freight accounts on demand. Additionally, we can separate the charge for shipping from the duty and tax. So if we do have a scenario where we as the shipper are paying for freight, but we want the duty or tax to be charged to the customer that we're sending it to, we have the ability to split duty and tax into a different shipping from uh, the transportation. So ultimately, this comes together on documents and we actually have the ability to start freight uh, management directly on the sales quotation. Of course, you can do it on the sales order as well, but we, it gives us the ability to look at information on the logistics tab. So for example, again, you can see those shipping profiles that we used earlier directly on here, as well as being able to look at the shipping type and third-party address books that we talked about. Address correction is something that's included. So in here you can see the address verification. And if I was to change the zip code here to be able to make something that's incorrect, I can press address verification and the system will go out and use the carrier to be able to determine not only the correct address, but here you can see the plus four and the identification that this is a residential address. If I choose that, it will automatically update this and bring it back into the document. Address verification is available at the document level, but it's also available at the business partner level. So if I had drilled into the customer and look at the addresses, you can see that I have the ability to do address verification here at the business partner level.
In addition, while we're on the business partner, you also have the ability to set um, information such as UPS or FedEx uh, account numbers or any of the other carrier account numbers, a default shipping profile, a default third party address or many other settings. And you have the ability to do that at the address level, at the contact person level or actually at the business partner level themselves. So all three different can be used to create the defaults for creating the shipping rules for your individual customer. Now we're also going to get the ability to come in and look at packing. And in the packing, you see here that it knew based off of the item master that each one of these would be in a box and what the box weighs. And we can look at it either by item view or by package view and see exactly what's in each box. This will give us the ability to do a rate shopping. And in the rate shopping, you can see here, we're getting the details of each of the different package types with their dimensions and their weights. And it's giving us real time direct web API based integrations to the different carriers to be able to find out what our charge is going to be, how much we'll charge our customer with the applied markup rules that we talked about earlier and the number of days to deliver. At this point, I can select a quote uh, a value that I want like UPS ground and I can either select it to choose that freight method for the shipment or I can quote it, which will also add it to the actual freight charge itself. And you can see we've now have the ability to quote freight to our customer. Thank you.